Hi, my name is Kate Lanchin and I'm a nurse practitioner and member of the Swedish Thoracic Surgical Team. This video is intended to prepare you for discharge following thoracic surgery, which may have involved removing part of your lung. Before leaving the hospital, it is important that your pain and nausea be under control. It is also important that you tolerate fluids by mouth, enough that you can stay hydrated after leaving the hospital. To stay hydrated, take small amounts of fluid frequently. Adequate hydration will also help to prevent you from getting constipated. For most, we will favor a multimodal approach for pain control using the following medications or classes of drugs in combination to target your pain. Acetaminophen or Tylenol, NSAIDs, including Celebrex and Advil, Robaxin, and opioid pain medications. Your discharge medications may include an opioid pain medication. Be sure to check the label on the medication bottle to better understand how much you can take and how often. Opioid pain medications should only be used as needed as it can cause nausea, constipation, and respiratory depression. However, take enough pain medication within the limitations of the prescription to make sure that you can cough, deep breathe, walk, sleep through the night. Coughing and deep breathing are important to prevent lung infections. Walking will help to prevent blood clot formation in your legs. Quality sleep will help with healing and overall mood after surgery. You will be given an incentive spirometer and or an acapella device in the hospital. Please be sure to take these home with you and use it every hour while awake to prevent lung infections like pneumonia. Do not drink alcohol or drive while taking opioid pain medication. Ideally, we want to minimize the amount of opioids we need by using the other types of pain medications listed above to their full capacity. Transition to Tylenol or no pain medication as soon as you are able. You will be discharged on a regular diet without restrictions. We will provide you with pain medication, a medication for nausea called Ondansetron or Zofran, a mild laxative for constipation called Miralax, as opioid pain medications commonly cause constipation. Selectively, some of you who will be judged at higher risk for developing blood clots in your legs and related possible pulmonary embolisms will be discharged home with a blood thinner prescription to take either by subcutaneous injections called Lovinox or by mouth called Coumadin, Xarelto, Eliquis, or others. These may be taken for one month or more beyond discharge. Before you are discharged, the nurse will bring paper prescriptions for these medications. They are in paper form because state law requires that all opioid prescriptions be on paper. They cannot be sent electronically. So to keep things simple, we will give all your prescriptions in a paper form. While you, the patient, are getting ready to go, your caregiver or driver can save some time by going down to the Walgreens Pharmacy in the lobby to have these paper prescriptions filled. Going home with a chest tube. This will only apply to those who discharge the hospital with a chest tube. You will go home with a chest tube on a portable system called the mini atrium. The mini atrium is a totally waterless operating system with a 500 milliliter collection chamber. It allows air and fluid to escape your chest until your lung heals. It is very important the tubing stay connected to the mini atrium. If at any time it becomes disconnected, reconnect the tubing to the mini atrium immediately and tape it secure. If you can't get it back together, go to the nearest emergency room. If your mini atrium is collecting more fluid than it can hold, you will use lure lock syringes provided by the hospital to remove fluid from the mini atrium. If fluid is removed, keep a record of the amount daily. To empty the fluid, screw a lure lock syringe firmly onto the port located on the bottom of the mini atrium. Pull the plunger back on the syringe to empty the fluid. If it becomes difficult to empty the fluid, fill the syringe with water and squirt through the port to flush out the blockage. It is okay to shower with your chest tube. Never submerge the mini atrium into water. Before showering, remove the old dressing. After showering, apply a dry dressing. Chest tube clamp trial. We may instruct you to do a clamp trial prior to your thoracic surgery follow-up appointment. You will be instructed to clamp your chest tube at bedtime the night before your follow-up appointment. To clamp your chest tube, use the blue plastic clip to close down the chest tube. If you do not have a blue clip, we will provide you with materials to clamp your chest tube closed. 
please unclamp the blue clip on the chest tube if you develop symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath. If you unclamp and your symptoms go away, no further action is needed. However, please call us the next morning to let us know. If you unclamp and your symptoms do not go away, go to the nearest emergency room. You will have a chest x-ray prior to your appointment with us with the chest tube clamped. If the chest x-ray shows your lung remains up after the clamp trial, we will likely pull the chest tube at your follow-up appointment. During the initial six-week post-operative recovery period, some individuals will be restricted to no lifting, pushing, or pulling over 10 pounds. If you are unsure, use a gallon of fluid, like a milk jug, which weighs eight pounds, to assess if you are able to lift, push, or pull an item. To slowly stretch the muscles of your thoracic cavity, walk your fingers up a wall on the operative side until your arm is fully extended. This also helps to keep your shoulder moving freely. You can exercise any and all of the muscle groups from the waist down, for example, an elliptical without the arms or a stationary bike. Stay active by walking after surgery. Walking helps to prevent blood clots from developing and helps bowels to start moving again. Walking also aids in clearance of lung secretions and may prevent pneumonia. A good amount of time to start walking after surgery is three times daily, about five to 10 minutes per walk. Increase the amount of time walked slowly as your body tolerates. You will be tired for some time after surgery. Stamina and strength will be slow to return. This is a normal process following any surgical procedure. Attempt to increase activities gradually, but rest when necessary. Continue to exercise your lungs using the Incentive Spirometer and Acapella device daily. It is normal to cough with lung exercises and to produce secretions mixed with some old blood. These secretions should clear with time. You can shower as soon as you like. The white stereo strips covering your incisions will fall off gradually over time. If any are left when we see you in the clinic at the two week visit, we will remove the rest. If you left the hospital with a dressing over your chest tube incision site, remove it 48 hours after the chest tube was removed. Please avoid soaking in the bath, hot tub, or pool until your incisions look like scars, which may take up to 46 weeks after surgery. Please call our clinic if your incisions are looking infected or not quite right in any way. This could include pus-like discharge, increased firmness, odd or bad smell, extra red or growing redness around the incision, extra tender or hot, a fever of 101.5 or higher. Please call our clinic if you experience chest pain or rapid heart rate greater than 120 beats per minute, difficulty breathing comfortably or shortness of breath, a productive cough with cloudy sputum, increasing pain or trouble controlling your pain, redness around or drainage of fluid from your incision, no bowel movement for two days in a row, Call our clinic during regular business hours to ask to speak to our medical assistant. After hours, you will speak with the physician on call. You will return to the thoracic clinic for your first follow-up surgical appointment with a nurse practitioner in about seven to 10 days with a chest x-ray beforehand. The thoracic surgery clinic will call you within two business days after discharge to set up your follow-up appointment. Please call our clinic at 206-215-6800 if any questions come up in the meantime.